Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with more World War II. And yeah, poor John Tron having to deal with the asshole SJWs. You know what's funny? Okay, so SJWs are all about freedom and peace, right? Then why is it that they all sound utterly psychotic? I actually looked at uh, a Reddit page where people were complaining about what he said. They're like, he should, he should face some consequences for what he said. It's like he has the freedom of speech. He can say whatever he wants, so long as he's not inciting violence, which he wasn't. And he shouldn't have to face consequences. I like, what, he committed a thought crime, so now he's got to, what, go to jail or something? Like, really, can you imagine living in a society like that, where if you say something someone doesn't like, you have jail time? And what would the evidentiary requirements be for that? You know, like, if it's on YouTube, like this, then okay, yeah, it's kind of hard to say he, that he or she didn't say it. No, no, let's just say he said it. And don't even add the she. Could that be illegal? To not add a she at the end? Can you imagine how petty you'd have to be to do that? I don't know. It's ridiculous all around, though. It's like, what happened? The only fucking aliens... Oh, God damn it! It shows me not paying attention. That's what happens. Now, imagine! Imagine if I went to jail for playing so poorly. But then again, we are playing a video game where we are fighting for a society that was kind of like that. The uh, Soviet Union was not all about the freedom of speech. If you said something somebody didn't like, well, if you said something a party boss didn't like, you did go to jail and likely were executed for it. Because old Stalin killed something to the tune of 30 million people, so... But of course, you know, in the modern era, he didn't do anything wrong, and he didn't really kill 30 million people. They just, you know, went to a different planet and uh, decided to live there. But yeah, that, that's just ridiculous. What has happened to society, you know? But we're not here to talk about societies, we're here to play a video-based game and get shot a lot. Because I'm... Because I'm not paying attention. Although, I hope to do a little bit better in Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which is going to return as soon as we finish Kaba Doobie here. Kaba Doobie has been a lot of fun, but it still doesn't hold the candle to uh, Return to Castle, or even Medal of Honor, which I need to do a, a Let's Play on, but I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, because I've already got the next two Let's Plays planned. We're going to fully complete, uh... Return to Castle very soon. Well, yeah, as soon as this, ep as soon as this series is over with. Uh, going to be modding it with the Venom mod. I decided to go ahead and use that one. Uh, just because it's good for variety, and I want to do that one. And we still got, we, go we only got a few episodes of Return to Castle left, so I might as well show off that particular mod. Which is a pretty good mod. Now, apparently the AI is supposed to be fixed, that means I'm going to die every five feet, right? Well, if that's the case, we will just quick save every five feet. Now, what do you guys mention that the uh, Steam version is actually better than the old retail version? I'm not surprised. I mean, it's like with uh, uh, AVP1. Like, I remember when I tried to review AVP1 back in 2010. My God, how, how time has flown. But AVP1, like, cannot run on a modern system, at least with the disc copy. And so, crap, 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 fall back, fall back. You love how the, so the Soviet infantryman can tank... 8 millimeter like it was nothing. But, uh, yeah, I, it, uh, the disc copy of AVP 1 or even AVP Gold Edition uh, cannot run on a modern system, but the Steam version runs pretty bloody well. I'm thinking about doing a fan appreciation live stream with the Steam version and doing the multiplayer. I played so much AVP 1 multiplayer. That game is so good. I mean, and I wasn't e that was one of the first multiplayer games I played a whole bunch. Because prior to that game, I never really spent a lot of time playing uh, multiplayer games in general. I just was not that big a fan of them. But once I started playing that, holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually a bigger fan of the Gold Edition more than just the base AVP. Uh, because the Gold Edition has uh, some really cool elements. That, God damn it, it adds to it. Most notably, it adds a set of dual pistols that are really cool. And those dual pistols are pretty bloody tough. AVP1, I should do a let's play of that. Oh wait, I already did years ago. And for those who haven't seen it, it's on the main channel, goddammit. That's where I use the AVP Redux mod. And the AVP Redux mod is absolutely excellent. Uh, but yeah, AVP is one of those games that, for me, will never get old. And I don't mind spending the $5 necessary. Also, one thing that's kind of cool, in the intervening time since I last recorded an episode of Kaba Doobie here, uh, there has been a release of Alien Swarm Reactive Drop. Get, a, get down. Time to go prone. Got my go prone. Or is it GoPro? I forget. But yeah, 
Alien Swarm Reactor drop is out. What's what's really kind of cool, though, what, what, what does that have to do with AVP, you may ask? What has a lot to do with AVP? Because I got AVP 1... Oh, I shot that guy. I know I did. I got AVP 1 just so I can play Alien Swarm Reactor Drop. I'm not even joking. The idea was... The, the thing is, I had a friend at the time who wanted to play Alien Swarm, and I didn't even have Steam back then. Uh, this is back in 2010. Oh, shit, he's got the tiger. You know how every tank is a goddamn tiger. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the tiger tank. I'll get back to my, my story in a minute. I'm more of a big fan of the... Uh, uh, Panzer III. I actually got a model of the Panzer III. I don't know what it's about. The old Panzer Mark III. I just like it. But, uh, let's see, where was I? Yeah, I had a friend at the time who wanted to play Alien Swarm. I didn't have Steam. Because uh, I was like, Steam? Who wants that? It's not like you can actually own the game. It's like Steam owns it. Everybody thought that back in the day. It's like, like how little we knew. You know, it's like how little we knew back then. Uh, let's see, I'll take the MP44 just because it is better, or the STG, whatever the case may be, but it's like, Steam, who wants that? And so, ultimately, I got that to play Alien Swarm, and Alien Swarm is a great, Alien Swarm is a great game, it's free. So you guys can actually play it without spending a lot of money. Uh, it doesn't even have microtransactions or anything like that, it's literally legitimately free. Back then it was legitimately free, but it only had one campaign, of which me and that friend and friends later would actually play incessantly because it was that good it's got it's got a perfect level of difficulty like an absolutely amazing level of difficulty that I just love more than anything it's like it is not an easy game but it is a very satisfying game and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a let's play that or not just because it requires me to really think uh, like hell even this game requires me to think so it'd be quite a hard it basically just me be playing the game with like one or two bits of commentary which just would not work oh come on you bastard I'm almost out of fucking Mosin Nagant. Almost like real life. Because 7.62 by 4, 5.4 ain't as cheap as it used to be, lads and lasses. Uh, but yeah. It's the. God damn it. Am I just gonna die all the time in this fucking episode? Yeah. But Reactor Drop's pretty good. The new campaigns are decent enough. They're not that terribly different from the uh, original one from back in the day. And a lot of the voice acting is exactly the same. It's, go activate this, go look at that. It's like, oh really? You couldn't have, said, have had him say something a little bit different. Hey, there's a Panzer Four. Is that a Panzer Four? It doesn't look right to me. Shit, shit. Well, isn't that guy fucking bra- Oh wait, that's my own people. Or is it? No, it's not! What was he doing? Did some of the uniforms are the same? I was like, that's my own people. But wait, why was he, why was he just staring at me? What the hell? They're learning! Could it be that it is my own people? It is humanity. When will we learn? Oh, that's a legitimate question. Did you would think that after all the fucking wars, we'd stop fucking killing each other. It's like, when will we stop killing each other? I don't know. When the earth has been blown up? Although I doubt even then. General Lutz, why did you become a hippie? Because I fucking love weed. Although that's not entirely accurate. Or accurate at all. I'm not what you would call a big weed kind of guy. I don't, I don't, you know, it's funny, I'm really boring when it comes to that. It's like, I just never saw, I've never seen a need to drink or smoke or any of the rest. Mainly because my personality is such that whenever I'm legitimately happy, it's, it, I, I just act in such a way. Well, no, that's weird, because it sounds like I, like I act really crazy, but I don't. I, when I get really happy, I always feel like I act like an idiot, but I don't, like, need a stiff drink to just be me. I'm just me normally. But that's one of the things about Jontron that I like. He always see, he seems like a very happy kind of guy. He seems like he seems like a kind of guy you'd actually want to be friends with. And him and I have a very similar personality in many respects. And that's one of the things. I just don't like people treating him like crap. And, they, and the thing is, you know, the the social justice warriors will treat him like crap. And it's just it's unfair. But then again, life life's not fair, as Scar would say. But Jontron's a cool a, a cool guy. I. I when you look at his uh, work with other people, like uh, with the AVGN, he just has like this energy about him, which he could do that better than I can. Because, like, like I say, General Lots is not necessarily a character; it's more of a reflection of who I actually am. But recording a video is a lot easier for me than it would be to actually do that around people I don't know. I'm somebody that could be all like happy and and like really energetic about stuff. So long as I'm with people that I actually know. If it's with people I don't know, then I'm like, good day, blah, 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 blah. 
I'm no, I, I'm self-conscious. Oh, uh, good. I thought that was oh uh, uh, good. Should you be a little bit more, you know, into me not being dead? All right, and so that was the Warsaw Rail Yards, and so I am General Lotz. You know, I've actually seen this quote several times. There's actually a a, a a a war monument at a park I go to that courage is endurance for one moment more. So I guess it's a fairly common one. So ultimately, I am General Lotz. Wish you good. Uh, return to Castle Wolfenstein. Good Wolfenstein New Order. Whatever makes you happy.